what came in. I'm so excited to bring you to you a new Manianology box. I haven't gotten one in a while. And here we're going to open it up. And it looks as if Manianology has come out with some merchandise right here. Pretty cool. So they're advertising for that. And then the theme for this box is Alice in Wonderland. Mm -hmm. We're all crazy here. So here are the two nail polishes and there is all the information that is here. Here is a sample of a Manny that you can do and some reverse stamping. They show you what you can do as far as how to do that design. Pretty cool. And it seems like it's the old time Alice in Wonderland here. So let's open this up. Grab my handy dandy little tool here. So we're gonna tear this open. Woohoo! Here is stamping polishes. Just painted my nails. Last thing I want to do is ruin the paint job. There we go. Here it is. Ooh, a stamping polish in blue. You can put the tester right here as far as the color. And this is in Alice. And this is a nail polish. And it is in Queen of Hearts. Oh, look at that glitter. That is so pretty. So a nail polish and a stamping polish. This will dry fast for stamping and it almost matches the nail polish I have on right now. Ooh, chunky glitter. So pretty. That My nail polish that I have on my nails right now is called Sha Shake a Santa. <laughs> That's funny. That's what I have on right now. So put that to the side. And then inside they gave us some, uh, I believe this is a glitter powder. Not quite. So they gave you this sponge applicator that you rub this glitter powder on. And you can stamp with it. So that is really nice. Oh, what a nice sticker. That is so nice. On a tiny canvas, you will find lots of color, lots of shine. This hobby has grown to a passion dear to my heart. It's not just a painting, it's art. Oh, that is cool. And then these are the directions on how to do stamping that they put in every box. A QR code. And then here is the rest of the directions. Then to the fun part, the plates. So we're going to put that off to the side. This plate is just for the man. These are exclusive to the Manny and Me boxes. And these are what's on the plate. This blue cellophane does come off, but it's easier to see the colors or, or the, the plate stampings without taking it off because then we'll have a lot of glare. But, oh, that is so cool. I like, I like that one. Always time, always tea time. Oh, that's cute. Tea for two up there, if you see that in the clock. So we'll, we'll do that. I like this flower pattern right there. And a key and the bottle that says drink me on it. And here's a little, little piece of cupcake right here that says eat me. And then here's the flowers with the faces on them. Those are cute. And Alice right here. So you can do a lot of reverse stamping with these. And here's keys and cupcakes and a cup of tea on this image. So that is a lot of fun. I like those images on that. And here it says Alice Adventures. Right there. Alice Adventures. And then here's the other plate. Right here. This is the Queen, Queen of Hearts and Alice and the White Rabbit. 
and here is Alice with the um, playing croquet with the long bird, long necked birds. Oh, I forget what they're called. And then here's a scepter with a heart on it. Alice falling through the hole. Here's a crown, and then here are different cards that you can make. Where I think these are like hearts and spades and diamonds and clubs cards, and then here are the decorations for the different cards. Roses and different cards right here, backgrounds, a rose bush, stuff like that. So cool.
So this is my little desk, coffee cup right there, and everything, and here are the nails so far. Oh, these are like testing out nails right here. Yeah. I like a, a key, key lock, and when it said Alice's Adventures. And then here are these ones. It has like the card people doing a branch, painting the roses red. I have two more to do. And I have this set of white rabbit and the clock. The queen didn't turn out as well as I had hoped. Ah, oh, focus. Alice turned out all right. And the flowers with the faces turned out well with the with the painting right there. So those turned out well. Oh, focus. But the queen. Oh. Yeah, the queen one is just. I think the background's too dark, and it like overtakes the image that I stamped. But that was actually pretty interesting because you can take the diamonds from this image and as you place them you can do two different colors. That was pretty interesting. Uh, I did like how that could be done but I'd almost have to put it in a gradient to make it actually work. But I'm learning. These plates are pretty fun. I like how the white rabbit turned out. So I used, let's see, this image right here, this clock, and up here, let's see, focus, 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 that white rabbit to make up this image here, and I think that turned out really well. Yeah, that turned out good. And then these and tea time down at the bottom here because these are longer nails the image sometimes doesn't go all the way around so that is from this plate is it this one well it's not too bad painting this these roses turned out well this is what made me want the plate <laughs> these roses so the roses are on this is it this one where is that ro oh nope it's this one so this image right here and then I reverse stamped it and that's how that turned out not too bad
here is the finished nails pretty cool plates nail polish and Alice and Queen of Hearts Queen of Hearts is a beautiful beautiful red so these plates are well worth it so much fun which this turned out beautiful which I I like since this is more like a jelly type clear nail polish I put that over this one called cherry bomb cherry bomb and this together makes these beautiful nails so that's what I did with that and it turned out beautifully